Hello everyone, it's Imaginary Doodles, and in today's video, um, I'm going to attempt to draw like a scene that sort of looks like it could be in a game. I, I honestly, right now, I have no idea what I'm going to call the title, but you know, you'll, you know what the title is because you know, you clicked on this video, so you probably know what the title is. Right now, I'm just showing you guys the supplies that I'll be using. If you want to use any of the items that I'm showing you guys today, then um, just go check the description. I will link all of the items there. So before we get started with the speed draw, um, I just want to show you the thumbnail that I made before drawing the final piece. And uh, pretty much this is just a character that I created. Uh, I think, well, at the time of recording this, I'm pretty sure two days ago. And um, yeah, basically the original was just this guy in a hoodie. And I didn't really know, I didn't think I'd like this guy too much, but I ended up making like a finalized design of him. And I sort of want to use him, I would sort of want to use his character in a story with also the girl that's right next to him. So pretty much like I was saying at the beginning of this video, um, I'm just trying to, right now I'm just trying to just draw this character that I created a couple days ago. I'm just trying to draw him like in sort of like a scene that looks like he could be in a video game. But I feel like the final piece didn't end up turning out too well, so he doesn't really look like he could be in a video game, but you know. I tried. Originally wasn't gonna be my idea for this video. I mean, like like all videos, usually I have one idea and I usually change it. This video is just gonna be like a video where I was going to like face my fears and I was actually gonna draw a background. And at first I did end up like, at first I ended up drawing something where there was like this girl's hand and she was holding a bottle that had like a boat in it and then also had like an island with a treasure chest on it but I ended up deciding not to do that. I actually filmed me sketching that. I ended up scrapping that idea altogether because to be honest it ended up the bottle honestly looked really cluttered and it just didn't end up looking good overall so I decided to just trash the idea plus anyway it wasn't really a background because it was just a girl holding a bottle that had stuff in it so it truly wasn't a background. After drawing that, I tried to draw this guy who was a fantasy bard character and pretty much you would like encounter him and he was just welcome, welcoming you into his um, bar. I didn't end up using that sketch for this video because I ended up liking the sketch that I drew of this character that I'm drawing right now. I ended up liking that sketch a lot more. I just decided to go with this and honestly, to be honest, I wish I went with that idea instead because I feel like that looked like I feel like that looked like a better background than um, the background of this drawing looks like. And also, I feel like one of the reason why this one of the reasons why this drawing didn't turn out that good or the way I wanted it to is because I was using alcohol markers. Not that you you can't make this drawing look good with only like watercolors and not with a hoo hoo markers, but um, I feel like that. I'm not, I feel like I'm better with watercolors and more comfortable with watercolors, and I'm just not that good with picking colors with the hoo hoo markers, so that's probably the reason why this didn't turn out that well. Because I just, I really like watercolors because you're not really limited to that one color. Because, like, with the hoo hoo markers, pretty much if you have a blue, it's only gonna look like that blue. I mean, you can get like a darker version if you color over that, um, if you color over that same spot twice, it pretty much, your color's not gonna really change that much after that. But with watercolors, if you like only have the primary colors, then you can like mix the colors together and make multiple different colors. Or if you only have like a blue watercolor, you can like make it different shades, which, which I know you can do that with alcohol markers too, if you like just get some rubbing alcohol, but I didn't feel like doing that. So yeah, I didn't end up doing that. So I'm not sure if that ruins your brush. I didn't want to end up ruining one of my watercolor brushes just to do that. And also I feel like this drawing didn't look that, that good because I don't know how to draw fire. 
I mean, I feel like the fi fire didn't look end up looking too bad, but once I just colored the whole piece, it just ended up just, I feel like the drawing looked better when it was like I finished doing the line art, but like honestly, I wish I just could have just stopped drawing after I did the line art. I wish I just didn't color it because I feel like as soon as I started coloring it, that's when it went downhill. So I guess I might as well talk about just a little bit more of his story. I can't really elaborate on his story because I don't even really know his full story myself because I haven't thought of that yet. This character is going to go on an adventure with uh, this girl who's dressed up in, I think it's Harajuku fashion. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Him and this girl are going to go on this on a venture and I don't really know what they're really, I don't know what their venture is and I don't know what they're looking for or what they're trying to do or accomplish, but pretty much these two characters are going to be like outcasts. Everyone thinks that they're kind of weird and they're just the weirdos of the society or of this world and uh, they're going to be paired together and they're just going to go on some sort of adventure so yeah and also both of the characters will have their own type of magical powers i don't know if i will write this story but this is sort of like the story that i have in my head and if i do end up writing this story and end up making this story like an actual thing that gets released i'm not sure if i'll make this like a comic series or or maybe a TV show. I mean, I don't really think I will make it a TV show. I might, I don't know, because I do, this is sort of sidetracked from this this story, but I do actually want to one day become a showrunner and, you know, produce and make my own show and like air it on a TV channel or maybe Netflix or Hulu. So I do want to mention this real quickly because um, I'm running out of time in this, vo in this voiceover. Recently, I have been watching this girl's channel and I don't really know what her name is. I'll probably link her down below and show her on screen right now. Um, she does make some good videos. And I really like how her art style looks. And I just really like her art and stuff. But um, I was watching her videos and pretty much she made a series where she was like sort of like vlogging. But she was pretty much just recording her process of her sketchbook slam talent. I decided that I want to soon in the future i want to um do my own now i'm probably not going to be i'm, I'm not going to do the full on blown like the full real sketchbook challenge but i am going to do sort of a mini version where i only have to draw like four sheets a day and there will only be like 120 pages in the sketchbook and i'll have to finish it within two months but um not two months i'll have to finish it within one month but uh yeah, if that's a series that you're interested in and you want to see on my channel, then um, I will have a little poll right here and you can vote on if you want to see this or if you want to see this on my channel or if you don't. Yeah, I'll probably, if I do make this an actual series, I will, I'll probably like upload a video on that topic every Friday or every Monday, pretty much like once a week. I'll talk about my progress and how far I've gotten and if I'm like, succeeding or failing the challenge and uh, yeah I think that would be like an interesting and fun challenge and I feel like if I do a mini version where I only have to do like four pages a day instead of like 10 pages I feel like it'll just be easier for me to do it'll just be like a more realistic thing that I think I can do sorry if the camera is kind of shaky and wobbly I'm recording this with my iPad and I'm not recording this with my phone because my phone's acting funny again. And I also want to say I'm sorry that you weren't able to see really any of the coloring. My phone sort of turned off. So a lot of the stuff, I did say a couple of things while I was drawing. And it's okay, I can just say it right now. I don't really like how this drawing turned out. Um, I just really don't like how the colors turned out. It just, it just... The, the character did not turn out the way I wanted him to. And also the background just looks really weird. It honestly looks like, I don't know, like a little kid made the background. If I had to find some positive, the character didn't doesn't look too bad. And by the way, if you're wondering where his hands are, his hands became invisible because 
he did something to make them become invisible or maybe he was born with it i'm not sure i'm really sorry that he didn't see me coloring my phone it's just acting goofy and it turns off and i should have checked it but i didn't so i'm sorry about that um hopefully next video i will try to be a little more aware and uh i'll try to make sure that i don't leave out any important parts of the video thank you guys for watching um don't forget to check out my instagram if you want to see some sketchbooks drawings early i'll see you guys in the next video